Welcome back, Knuckleheads, to another uh, Mitchell Games, and I am here with Overwatch again. Uh, <clears throat> but this episode, I'm going to do something just maybe a slightly bit different. I am going to make this more of a topic episode, so you'll see gameplay, you'll see my face, you'll see me talking. Now but I won't necessarily be talking about the game, I'll be talking about a particular topic. Um, this is something that I kind of want to try on my channel, see how well it's kind of uh, gets taken. And um, how well it will do. So, um, I know this week was a little bit difficult um, with all the things happening. So, uh, Monday had a day off, kind of just uh, hold on here uh, to reassess things, and I'll be right back, guys. Hello? Sorry about that, folks. Um, I forgot how my connect in. I'm like, I didn't really want to talk to people, so. Um, there's a lot of things going on this week. And it's just been, I wouldn't say a difficult week to record, but it's been a hectic one, at least. Um, <clears throat> and so there's been a lot going on. So this week's, um, or this episode's topic is going to be on YouTube and is, are YouTubers sellouts? Um, that's kind of been a big question that, um, you know, people always kind of make the comment, are YouTubers sellouts? Um, are they the ones that really, like, make that much of a big fuss about it or whatever? It's, it's kind of an interesting topic to discuss because, um, <clears throat> where do you draw the line between who is someone selling out who's just doing their job um, because YouTube is somewhat of a job for some people and it kind of gets a little uh, blurry at times what is being a sellout what's doing their job <clears throat> now with people like Markiplier, PewDiePie, etc they do have leniency um, they, they're allowed to do a few things because they have so much popularity even if they were to um, do a game or do something that would um, get ad revenue from another, uh, another source other than YouTube, uh, then you are, it's, you know, where, where do you draw that line? Fuck, I got you. So, <clears throat> now would getting free games or getting free merch be selling out no I really don't um, I consider anything free not really selling out because they're just giving it to you yeah you do have slight contractual obligations to maybe help them out but there's nothing that says you have to so now getting paid to do things Eh, yeah, maybe. We'll see. Oh. Heal me, heal me, heal me. Come on. Um, now would get paid to play a game because they're selling out. Um, I don't know. It's. Like, something that's a triple-A title, um, I could easily see that happening. They can afford to do that, though. Um, the companies can. Um, I don't know. It's like, it, that's where it kind of draws the line. Where do you, where do you actually draw the line? Ah, so the reason why I brought this topic up for this week is because of the recent um, 
drama with COD players and getting paid to basically open up containers that might contain rare weapons that you can't get otherwise. Um, and that's the point where I think not only did they sell out, but I think it was slightly unethical too. If it does, it did happen or not. It's it's still up in the air whether it actually really truly has happened. A couple of people have claimed that. A couple of people have said no, that's not true. Um. But that's where I would definitely consider that being selling out. Uh. Because you look at it from the perspective of they're skewing what people will see of the game. Also, as less players do our best of the ability, be honest of how we feel about games, how we play them, and we try to be as honest as we can with um, reviewing games, defending games, and be true to the games themselves. Um, for me, I think this is a fun game. Could I have paid twenty dollars less on the PC and got it? In? Yeah, I definitely could have. I I wanted to get the Xbox experience, so that's just me. I paid extra money, but then I also had a coupon to kind of do it too. So yeah. Um, but we. I, you can't give people false hope because then it's saying, okay, not only are you truly actually lying to people, but you're deceiving them. That's definitely, I think, a case of selling out because not only did you lie, but it's a ramble. You lied and you did something else to make it a very, I would say, unethical situation. Fucking gun. Um, it, it's definitely a line that you don't cross. Um, Product placement, that's a big thing. That's something that does extend from every to every YouTuber. Um, that's where I would say that's definitely be sparing. Fuck. Yep, yeah, now that happened. Um, it's sparingly used. It needs to be sparing. Um, I think if it's something like Loot Box, Loot Crate, um, those companies have done very well being okay with, okay, our video comes first, your product can come second, but we want, you know, we want our videos to come first. I think that's fine. Um, but I'm not, I, I wouldn't say I'm not Bob over on his channel. I am still supportive of him, but I'm not a big fan of how he does his advertising because it's Kickaboo and he does it at the very beginning of his episodes. And it's it's tacky. It just doesn't feel right. Ah, Genji, go away. Um, it, it it feels tacky. It really does. I 
don't fault him for uh, doing it. I don't fault him for trying to make money that way. Um, YouTube is a place where they need to make money. And advertising is how you do it. Um, and, and, and you can say as far as time, television's done it. Everyone's done it at some point. But I feel like there's less of an excuse if you are um, a single channel person type of deal. Need a drink because I'm talking too much. I might do another game and call it good here, <clears throat> but it, it, it's 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 interesting to say the least. Um, I mean, even I've technically quote unquote um, have helped out people. Um, I did red trigger. Which I, I actually went and openly asked the guy. I'm like, hey, do you want me to help you sponsor this video? Um, doing it as more of a favor to the guy. Um, because I liked the game. I really did. Um, but obviously, I was gonna... If he would've said, hey, I'll do it, but pay me. I would've said, okay. Uh, but... <clears throat> I'm gonna do Soldier 76. I haven't done him in a while. Ooh, I might want to review what he does. <laughs> I grow tired of waiting. Sprint. Helix rockets. It's all okay. Um, and get ready to move. That wasn't him coming to me. That was me coming to him. So, what? Well, I mean, if someone would come to me tomorrow, I'd be like, "Hey, you want to sponsor a Kickstarter?" I'd be like. Mount Dooku star. I'm like, eh, maybe, yeah. Uh. Let's get this done. Don't worry, my friend. So, but I also would be honest about that. <clears throat> Anyone need some healing? As to where I get my revenue, where I come from. You know, it's it, it's a fine line, I would think. Uh, <clears throat> I would say it, it is a fine line. I don't think there's a right answer to this. I don't think there's a wrong answer to this. <clears throat> Team, heal up here. Enemy turret ahead. <clears throat> I would definitely say though, um, being paid to skew the system is definitely, I would say, not okay. Yeah, they got me there. Um, pay, pay, being paid to skew the system or make the system look different. Um, being paid to I don't quit till the fight's done. Purely be that game's channel, like uh, being paid strictly to be a Call of Duty channel. Being paid to do, it, I would say, is wrong. Um, but if you're just doing it again, YouTube ad revenue, it, it would be interesting to see where that goes. I've got you in my sights. I love the smell of pulse condition. Objective A, capture. Escort the payload. 
type of dragon. Everyone, heal up. Get out of my way or I'll run you over. Get behind me. Um, it, it'll be an interesting topic to see uh, in the future how people handle it, how YouTube handles it. Um, right now, I don't see that there is a direct way of basically taxing them for advertising on YouTube if it's not directly from YouTube. So, <clears throat> it could be an interesting spot to see where it comes from. Ooh, go chat a little bit. <clears throat> Overall, I mean, I would say there's there, there's gonna be a point in time where YouTube will eventually try to figure out a way to take the money from people doing it. it. It'll be interesting how that happens in the future if they do, because they don't make a ton of money as is. Come here and get stabilized. Come on, release. <coughs> nice. Yeah, we got this. <clears throat> Woo! We won a game. So, that took almost 20 minutes, but I think this is a good discussion, I would think. Um, let me know down in the discussion, or down in the descriptions and comments, what you guys think about this. Um, <coughs> what constitutes a sell off on YouTube? I kind of left it vague. I mean,. I did kind of give some examples of what I truly do think are sellouts, but a lot of it's kind of up in interpretation on what is considered a true sellout. Um, so that's my opinion for now, but if you guys have any questions um, and want to talk to me more about it, let me know. Um, as always guys, um, I love you all, thank you for watching, if you liked the video, uh, please give me a like. It lets me know what you guys think and what you guys want. Um, uh, if you like my content, always uh, go ahead and subscribe today. And as always, guys, keep on gaming, keep on having fun, and let's play.